Hey guys, after the negative feedback to Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman, the future of the DCEU is not looking bright at all. Despite the positive response to the One Woman and Justice League trailers, there are a lot of people out there that are still uncertain about what's going to happen to the DCEU when its future movies come out. So looking back on the mistakes I've made so far, here's my video about how DC and Warner Brothers can fix the future of the DCEU. But before I begin this video properly, here's just some background information about how I have felt about the DCEU so far since it's begun in 2013 with Man of Steel. I hated Man of Steel, I thought it was an absolutely horrible film, but then Batman v Superman came out, and I realised that Man of Steel wasn't actually that bad, at least it had a plot that made sense, at least the special effects were good, at least the music was even really good, but then you watch Batman v Superman and it had so many plot holes and weird editing and music problems and everything we've heard, everyone complained about the movie since it came out. And then now even Suicide Squad came out and the editing and the pacing and the characters and the story and that had so many more problems as well. And I realised Man of Steel wasn't that bad and that the movies are almost getting worse and worse every time they come out and it's about time that Warner Brothers does something to fix it. The first step is fixing up the story problems. The stories haven't been too great in the DCU so far, especially in Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad. Um, Batman v Superman, the first half of the movie is quite boring, especially in our second viewing, and nothing really happens until the third act of the film, which is sort of a big rush, and things are thrown in there for no reason, like Doomsday, which had no place being in the movie, but it just was there. And in Suicide Squad, as you obviously know, as you've heard from a lot of the reviews coming out, uh, there's not really a story at all, things are rushed, characters are rushed, there's not too much character development and things are also squeezed in there for no reason and a lot of the movie feels like a giant music video. So Warner Brothers needs to take some time to focus on their story problems. In Man of Steel, the story was okay in the last two films, like I just said before, it was just a mess. If there's anything they're going to fix with their films, it's at least the story problems. And step two is sort of linked to part one, but Warner Brothers need to focus on character and story development rather than focusing on easter eggs and moments. Now the scene in Suicide Squad where we see the Joker and Harley Quinn dancing was an awesome easter egg to the comics, but at the same time, the rest of the story made no sense, it wasn't focused on, the characters were basically just forgotten in character development wise, and overall the story just didn't work, and the focus on moments rather than editing the film to be a great story. We had the scene where we introduced Harley and the Joker without any context and things were just added in that didn't make any sense and didn't really have any background to them and not as harshly but the same thing happened in Batman v Superman and Warner Brothers needs to stop focusing on moments and easter eggs from the comics and just for the fans and make the stories easier to understand and overall just make the stories much better than they currently are. And number three which I think is quite an important one is for the marketing department to stop lying to the general public through their marketing campaigns and also for Warner Brothers to stop releasing special editions. Now with the marketing campaign aspect, we've been getting trailers that were falsely advertising the films to a certain extent. With Batman v Superman, the marketing campaign was solely focused on the fact that Batman would be fighting Superman because they didn't like each other for whatever reason. They only fought for about 8 to 10 minutes and it was an hour and 40 minutes into the movie and the whole marketing for the movie was basically a giant liar. And additionally with the Batman v Superman marketing campaign, it's more of a minor thing but it really personally bugged me, it was a whole big deal that Zack Snyder and Warner Brothers made about Aquaman being in the movie. They released that Unite the Seven poster, they made this big deal about him, they released plush toys, action figures, costumes, they even released two to three different versions of pop vinyls of the one character of Aquaman, making a big deal that he's in this movie. But in reality, he was in the movie for about a maximum of 10 to 20 seconds in a piece of footage from an email. And of course, the Suicide Squad, I'm sure you've heard all the rumours about um, suing Warner Brothers over the Joker not being in the film, and because of the long list of scenes that were originally in the cut for Suicide Squad, but no longer in the film because of all the edits they did. So the marketing campaigns have been completely lying to us, making films seem like they were really good or feature certain aspects, which is why we wanted to watch the films, but to be honest, they weren't in the film at all. And the fourth and final thing I think Water Brothers needs to fix is more of a personal thing for me, and that's the music. They got it right in Man of Steel. The soundtrack of Batman v Superman was atrocious and it was absolute garbage, and if you've seen my soundtrack review for that, I think I gave it about a 4 out of 10. And the soundtrack for Suicide Squad, even though it's doing good well on iTunes and the ARIA charts, it's not used well at all in the film itself. The character themes in Batman v Superman were either used pretty poorly or were just almost painful for the ears to listen to. The theme for Lex Luthor sounded like a broken piano. The soundtrack theme for Batman was used pretty poorly and was used at moments of the film when nothing was even happening. 
and the theme for Wonder Woman was absolutely horrible. Some people like it, which is fine, but for me, I think it's just horrible. It didn't fit the scene at all, and I was even using the Wonder Woman trailer when it felt even more out of place than that. Suicide Squad had a fantastic soundtrack, but unfortunately it wasn't used very well in the film, and whenever it was in the film, it made the whole movie feel like a giant music video, especially the first 30 to 40 minutes of the whole film. So that begs the question, can Warner Brothers fix the mistakes they've made so far with DCEU? Perhaps. The responses, like I said earlier, have been pretty good for the new trailers, but apparently some inside sources from Warner Brothers have been saying that Wonder Woman is actually a mess. But we'll just have to wait and see until Wonder Woman and Justice League do come out of cinemas next year. But if Warner Brothers focus on fixing some of their problems, like the ones I've mentioned in this video, maybe the DCU can maybe one day catch up to Marvel Cinematic Universe. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.